How's it going, guys and girls? My name is Hodge Baker, and welcome back after such a long time to Star Trek Online Story Edition series. The Story Edition of Star Trek Online I'm doing. Um, now, and as you can maybe be able to tell, the loading, well, the, the character selection screen is different because, those of you who don't play the game, um, or haven't played it in a while, the game has had, the game has had an update. Uh, Gone is all the Klingon um, stuff. Yeah, gone is all the, all the Klingon house fractured or whatever stuff. And now we're going on to um, uh, the new update, which is called Star Trek Online Reflections. It's all based on um, the Terran Empire, but the 25th century is that Terran Empire, not the Discovery Terran Empire. Now, I probably will do a video on the new mission that there is um, in... Ella um, had a bit of an update, so she's got the lower decks uniform and a lower decks ship. Um, but I won't do that in this episode because obviously this is a story series episode, not the not the um, not just a general episode. So where is my boy Coleman? There he is. Right. So do I remember? Do I remember what happened last time? Answer that. Answer that is. No, I don't. So me and editing put uh, put in what happens in the, what happened in the previous episode. Previously on Star Trek Online, I played the episode Frozen. In this episode, I had to lure out a Riemann scout ship, tag it, and follow it back to its base, a Riemann Resistance hideout. When I got there, I had to help defend the Riemanns against the Romulans. Right. So. Now that they're caught up, um, this video is also like the last Detroit Become Human episode, this is, this episode is also a, a re-recording. Because for some odd reason, I had the video, the, the game footage, the game footage, but I didn't have the face cam. I don't know what happened to it, but for some reason, the, the, the face cam file wasn't there. And I know, and I know I could have just uploaded it like that, but I know for NS, for NS, I did like a few. Ep I uploaded a few episodes, a little, a few wh a little while back, of no face cam, but of no face cam in, in, in this game. I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. I do, I prefer it with the face cam. So here we are again. But yeah, uh, I mean, that doesn't mean I have to go through uh, the second episode of the umpteenth amount, amount of missions I don't like again. Because today's episode is Coliseum. And I don't, and I don't know why, but I, just, I fucking hate that episode. Right. No, not we're not on cutting the cord just yet, my friend. Starfleet intelligence. Yeah, not yet. Not yet. Exploit. Nothing really. Wow, I'm surprised. Um, new Romulus. No. Romulus mystery. Fuck me. <laughs> That's so much to go through. Fuck. Uh, we'll get there eventually. Then we'll get, we'll get there eventually. Um, right, I'm looking for Coliseum replay. My contacts tell me that Starfleet has rejected my request for military assistance. That is regrettable, but not unexpected. The Tal Shiar are formidable opponents, as are the forces directing their action. I understand why the Federation would hesitate to engage them directly. So today I appeal to you, not as an ally in battle, but as a person of compassion. My people need your help. I need your help. One of our ships was carrying a load of Thaleron weapons through the Nopada system. That ship has disappeared. There are no indications there was a battle. It's as if my ship and its cargo simply vanished. I know you have your reservations about the lengths to which I will go to secure the freedom of my people. Tell me. If you do not trust me with Thaleron weapons, do you want Hakiv to have them? I can provide you with the last coordinates of the vessel. Please help me. Do what you will with the weapons, if they survive. But find my people. Yeah, sure thing. Fuck off. Right, set course. Coliseum. I think I might already be here, actually. Am I already here? Don't know. I don't know. No, I'm not already here. Transwarp.
Right. Gotta see him. Uh, object. So, no power system. Um, whatever planet is, whatever planet this one is. Not that one, I'm guessing. Uh, for more, more than 60% of the land mass on Nopada Prime uh, is classified as desert. The, mo the most temperate areas of the planet are on the coast of, of the Tekar Ocean. But violent tides make, the most, make most of this land uninhabitable. The fauna of the Nopada Prime have adapted to life on this planet, on this harsh planet. Uh, where daytime temperatures can soar to more than 48, 48 degrees Celsius. And like I said in the previous recording of this I did, 48 degrees Celsius, I stopped melting at 25. Uh, obviously I'm surprised for, for an American game it's used, it's used Celsius. That might just be, be, be me assuming though, so apologies if that's true. <laughs> Sir, I'm not re I'm not reading any active vessels on on scanners. There is, however, a debris field nearby. It it's clustered around a satellite in orbit of the planet, and the consumption of the debris corres composition of the of, of the debris can co corresponds with the ships that have gone missing in this region. I'll keep scanning, sir. But we'll need to take a closer look before I can determine if there are a Thaleron weapons on, on one of the hulks. Sure thing. Sir, I'm not detecting the vessel that the Obersex sent us to find. But all of the ships in the debris field show signs of being affected by the same thing. A high frequency energy beam that overloaded all of their systems. If the Riemann ship was hit by that beam, it might have crashed into the planet's surface or gone adrift somewhere else in the system. The, I'm detecting energy readings from the satellite, sir. If the Riemann crew detected them as well, they, may, they, they, they could have tried to use it to record a distress signal. We'll need to be closer to- we'll need to be closer before I can attempt a lump link with the station's communications array. Scan the ship. Oh crap. Scan the satellite. Sir, we're stuck. This beam is holding us like a fly in a spider's web. We managed to keep life support and environmental systems active, but almost everything else is offline. Shields, weapons, engines, nothing works! I'm not detecting any life turns on this on this satellite, sir. But there is a compartment with life support. The system's operating must be. I cannot read apparently today. I do, I do apologize for that, by the way. <laughs> the chief says we have enough power for in the backups for one transport. Recommend we send the team over to that satellite and find a way to turn the beam off. Let's do it. Captain. The consoles here have appeared to control the beam that is draining the power from the Montrose. But there is a security lock preventing access. We need to find a usable console. Let's do it then. Uh, isn't it up actually no, isn't it up here somewhere? This console doesn't appear to be locked a lot like the others. Whoever did this must not have thought that the console used for the for inventory control was important. I think I can access a back door into the rest of the satellite's programs from here. I see the problem. The Romulan consoles are using the, 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 the Romulan con the Romulan consoles are causing a lockout by forcing the satellite's primary processes to run through a series of of a quick of equations and removing key bits of information from the answers, which causes the bat processes to lock up. If we can correct, correct, ugh, if we can correct, no, it's not. Why, why am I doing that? If we can solve these equations and put the correct input, if we can solve these equations and input the correct information directly into the consoles, 
the security lock on the satellite controls should be released. I've downloaded the, the, corrupted, uh, the corrupted equations onto this console for you to work on. Oh, no, that's right on. Oh shit, I bet. Oh. Oh. Apologies. Next. Captain, we've solved the equations that were causing the issues in the other consoles. Now we need to plug these correct values into the console controlling the security lock. Then we should be able to access all of the satellite's major operations. Let's go. Long range scanners, overriding selection algorithm, ship identification program, overriding friendly safeties. Tele telemetric data, forcing target selection, powering control, automatic actions. 7599. Coolio. And over here. Captain, this console controls the satellite's targeting functions. I'm not sure if there's a way to disable whatever it is that is going to disabling systems on our ship. But if we can get the satellite to target something else, we may have a chance of prying our ship free. Uh, right. Access long range scanners. Expand to 1000 kilometers. Open ship identification program. We classified derelict hull. Three, examine tele telemetry data for all identified targets. Sure thing. Four, access targeting control. Target derelict hull. Five, end session. Sir. A satellite has ens ensnared, and always trip, trip, trip that word, ensnared a piece of debris near the ship. It's en it's its stranglehold on us is weaker, but we're not out of the woods yet. Critical systems are stable, but we still don't have weapons or long-range communications. <laughs> oh. Right. Oh, I still can't wait to get this mission over and done with. Right then, over this way, so... Um... Unconditional, uh, fuck. Okay, um... Captain, this console controls the satellite's op general operations. Perhaps we can turn off all the functions that are affecting our ship. Error. Concurrent power. Uh, concurrent current power usage level is too high. Sat too high. Satellite operational state cannot be set to off at this time. We go over to that one over there. Uh, power save modes disengaged. Process priority order overridden. Exit, then wait a second. Pretty sure, yep. This console looks like it controls the satellite's power supply. Since we weren't able to free our ship by, by targeting some, something else, perhaps we can decrease the power to the satellite's wet weapon. Then the Montrose might be able to break free. Update power save mode to economical. Returns, priority values, default settings. Sir. 
We found that if the Montrose does not attempt to move or fire at the satellite, it will engage a low power version of the beam affecting us. It's almost like an energy saving mode. We can use that to our advantage. At least we won't have to worry about life support. We'll have to hold. We'll hold the ship stable and keep on working on boosting power to critical systems while you try and disrupt the satellite's functions to fr and free us. <sighs> Alright. Satellite. This console controls the satellite's gen... Uh, this, uh, this console controls the satellite's general operations, Captain. We managed to minimize the power output of the, of the satellite. I think we. Ugh. I think if we keep. Oh my god! I think if we keep at it, we can switch the satellite's controls over to sli a sleep mode that will shut down everything but low support and, and power. And push on stage to off. Captain, systems are coming back online all over the ship. We have weapons, shields. Even the replicators are working again. Transport is standing by, sir. We can beam you back as soon as you're ready. Turn the ship. If I ain't going to the fucking ship, oh, I know. No, I'm going to King Coliseum. Oh, fuck you. Where am I? Fucking Coliseum. What now? If you fail to comply with the now we fight we will or we die. Yeah, I know. I got a meaner weapon. I'll just equip it now. No, yeah, I'm just gonna get the other one. Remember to equip your new weapon. I got it. Make sure you pick up a melee weapon. All of your gear is deactivated, and I won't protect you in there. Good luck, Len. <laughs> Talk to Sarmak. What do you Slamak. want? My name is Slamak. I am part of a Resistance. Perhaps you have heard of it. About a week ago, 
I was part of a crew ferrying weapons from one base to another. When we passed through this system, a satellite disabled our ship. It drifted into the planet's atmosphere. I activated the emergency transporter, and a few of us were able to transport to safety before the ship crashed in the desert. We were looking for shelter and a way to contact our people, when a group of soldiers found us. They took us here, and kept throwing us into the arena. Now I'm the only one remaining. That is all I know. Soldiers? What kind of soldiers? I don't know who was responsible for this place. The trainers and the guards all appear to be mercenaries, without any clue about what's going on. They're paid to keep us in cages and look the other way. The night I was brought in, I was interrogated. There were bright lights in my eyes and a synthetic voice asking me questions. Whoever it was took care to conceal his identity. And no idea what they want with us? I have no idea what they want with us or why they make us fight. This all seems like some sort of giant game. But there is no one in the stands to be entertained. Uh, are there are, are there other prisoners being forced to fight? I think there are others. I hear other fights. If there are other prisoners, I have never been able to contact them. We are kept separated and caged unless we are fighting. Uh, let's see. Have you tried finding a way to contact other prisoners? I do not wish to continue talking with you. Bollocks. Now I recall. You were working on all those errands when we were attacked. I managed to escape on the shuttle, and some of us signed on with a freighter. As you can see, Things didn't work out so well after that. Okay. So you wound up working as a Steve door to make ends meet. What happened after that? We were transporting a shipment of Thaleron weapons. I know that your people will not use them. We do not want to, but our fight is getting desperate. We needed to do something, anything, that would shift the tide of war. Even if that choice was horrific. I jettisoned our cargo as we were entering the atmosphere. The weapons were completely destroyed. I've seen what Thaleron weapons are capable of firsthand. I could not allow them to contaminate a world not involved in my people's fight. And then they who brought you in? I don't know who was responsible for this place. The trainers and the guards all appear to be mercenaries, without any clue about what's going on. And what do you have in spit? Paid to keep um, us and look the other way. Yeah, what well, they want with us? I have no idea what they want with us, or why they make us fight. We're being I, to uh, I hear other fights. Not wish oh, that's the one I did. I did. That's what I. Right. Now I recall. You were working on all those errands when we were attacked. I managed to that one. transporting a shipment of Thaleron weapons. Uh, it was a uh, responsible for this. Uh, I have no idea what they want. I've had several partners in my battles. Awesome. You were the only one about which I've been questioned. You must have impressed our masters. I know you have impressed me. Are we the only ones here? I think there are others. I hear other fights. If there are other prisoners, I have never been able to contact them. We are kept separated and caged unless we are fighting. Is there any how many fights have you been in? Too many. Do you know do you know of any of my past the defenses? The trainers carry key cards. That's the only way I know to get through the defenses. Do you think we can, we, we can get to one of those cards? Can I trust you? Yes. I can see that we think the same way, friend. 
A few years ago, I worked as a bodyguard for a Ferengi merchant. He had a talent for acquiring latinum. And during my time with him, I learned a few things. I was able to lift a key card from one of the trainers during my interrogation. If you help me, I think we can overpower the guards and escape through the main door in the arena. Let's go. Let, let's get out of here. Use the consoles on the sides of the arena to fight the Elder Worm! Ow. Ow. Huh. Just like last time, use the remaining console on the side of the arena to fight the Elder Worm. There's another set of consoles by the metal wall. Use them! While the worm is distracted! I've been hit! I can't continue, my friend! You'll need to protect me! I'm dead.
<clears throat> the worm destroyed the metal wall! Run! That's our way out! Romulan base? Here? What did they want with us? And what is that device? It appears as if whomever created this laboratory has rigged controls to an Iconian gateway. You might be able to pull some information off the logs. Our master's patience wears thin, Hakiv. Time grows short, and still you have not provided all the species data that they require. Are you having trouble acquiring? Are you having trouble acquiring targets? I provided you with the necessary technology to modify the satellite in the Nopala system. But your little snare is le <coughs> But your little snare is slow. What we need is more test subjects. Perhaps a small colony would, would be enough. I'll contact you again to work on the details. Anything else, please? Um Yes. Now, now that we have some real weapons, I have like I said, my shot color. Let's get out of here. That's the way to pipeline. Get out of space. All right. Alright, we're we don't we're to time them on perfectly, you do. Watch out. There are Romulan Scorpion fighters overhead. They're looking for us. We need to move quickly and smartly to avoid detection. I recommend we head to the east. See that mountain in the distance? My ship crashed on the other side. It may have something we can use to signal your vessel. The search for us will only get more intense the longer we stay here. We need to get away from the arena as quickly as possible. Let's run. There's a fighter heading straight for us. Quick, take cover in those dark rocks over there and wait for it to pass overhead. Stay still and wait for that fighter to pass overhead. We're fortunate they won't detect us. You are fortunate. They didn't see us. Let's move on. I can't go on. My injuries from the arena are too painful. We need to find a place to rest for a moment. Forgive me, my friend, but the pain... <laughs> I need to rest, just for a moment. My wounds are agonizing. <sighs> I fear the worm's venom may have infected me. The pain is excruciating. My vision is blurred, and my blood burns in my veins. Before we were captured, my science officer said that the local plants here have medicinal qualities. Please, I need your help. Find something to ease my suffering. I need something to disinfect my wound. Something to treat my fever. And anything that will ease my pain. <sighs> Thank you, my friend. I know that I would have died today if it weren't for you. Let's see what I can find. Scam plant. This plant has uh, has anal ah, this plant has analgesic qualities. It won't be as strong as anything you have in the, in the med bay on, on on the Montrose, but it would take the edge off S Slamek's pain. That might be enough to get him on his feet again. This type of plant grows in in the shade. Look for it on on the sides of hills and cliffs.
This plant looks like it would it would work as a as a, as, a, as a anti. I can't even say that. It would help to alleviate sal sl Slamex fever. Unfortunately, this particular plant doesn't look healthy, and you aren't get and you aren't get getting much sap from from it. You will need to find a more robust sample of this plant before you can re before you can treat Slamex injuries. This type of plant likes sunny and windy growing conditions. Look for it at the top of hills and mountains. This plant looks like it would work as a disinfectant. It is. It is a strain astringent enough to clear out. I think that's what it is. I think that's how that says. Uh, it's really just clear enough to clear out any possible infections Salamek might have contracted from the worm's attack. But you think you will need more than one sample from this type of plant to deal with it with an injury as severe as Slamex. This type of plant grows in the washes of desert. Washes of the, of the desert. Look for it in large flat areas. Let's get a shift on in, shall we? Let's get a shift on in. I don't know what that was. Now that we're in the canyon, we shouldn't have to worry about the fighters anymore. Just the local wildlife. Keep your eyes open. One sec, my dude. I got this so slow. I am a fucking. Oh, I'm gonna fucking dizzy, man. Jesus Christ.
weather isn't going to hold out for too much longer. We should look for a place to spend the night. I've noticed that there are things we can gather along the way to make our night more pleasant. The search patrols are moving on. We will not survive a night in this desert. We need to find shelter and safety. If we can scavenge provisions to create a camp, we'll have a better chance of reaching the wreckage of my ship alive. What do we need? The temperature is dropping. If we don't find warmth, we risk hypothermia. We can't use a phaser on the rocks here to heat them. They're too porous. We will need firewood. Look to the dry plants. If we can collect tinder, kindling, and logs, we will be able to create a fire that will last through the night. <coughs> Continue. That should last us through the night. Let's get into this cave before the temperature drops any more. Temperature is dropping rapidly now. This cave should protect us from the elements. I've done some exploring. It looks like this cave continues. When the sun rises, the side of the mountain, we could save time and energy by using the passage instead of trying to find a path over the mountain. Excellent. The passage saved us hours. This could walking. be a good day. Let's find my ship. My ship is far from. I think I can make out smoke from the wreckage on the horizon. There she is. She wasn't much to look at, but she was ours. When we were flying through space, we were free. Perhaps she can help us one last time. I hope she can. I would love to get back to my ship and off this fucking planet and finish this fucking mission. We should check to see if the emergency beacon survived the crash. But in the likely event it didn't, we might be able to piece together some components to create a makeshift emergency beacon. There is no way this vessel will ever fly again. The damage done by, by the fall through the planet's atmosphere is severe. 
If the emergency distress beacon wasn't vaporized in the crash, it's probably buried under 30 meters of rock and sand like, like the singularity drive on the cargo bays. You do, however, find a backup generator with a minuscule amount of energy left. If you had the right components, you think you could construct a makeshift subs subspace beacon to contact your ship. You won't be able to do anything more than transmit a few pulses to let your crew know where you are, but it should do the trick. Let's go on a hunt then. Ah. <gasps> Did you think you could run from me? Ah, uh, yeah. There is no place where I cannot find you. My spies are everywhere. Prisoner 1478, take your place. You did your job admirably. It is good to know at least one Riemann understands who is the master and who is the slave. The loss of the listening post was a minor setback. The Riemann's refuge in the Dera system has been destroyed. Dozens of subjects have been tested in my arena. When the Iconians return, they will find I have done all they have asked, and more. But you will not be there on that dreaded day. This tiresome game ends now. You could have been such a fascinating test subject, but this time, no. This time, I think a more direct approach is best. Ready? <laughs> Aim. And beam me up. No! Yay! Now I just cannot forget. Cannot lose this or this this video file this time. I apologize for Slamic's action. I had no idea there was a traitor in our midst. If his actions caused harm to you or your crew, forgive me. That was not my intent. However, your trip to the Nopata system was not in vain. Now you see. Now you know. Hakiv is a pawn of a greater power. The demons of air and darkness are here. You should report to your superiors. Tell them what you have seen here. Open their eyes to the dangers that lurk in the shadows. Alright, that's that done. Now let's have a look. I shall probably hear me in a second about it, won't it? Won't it? Or not then. Starfleet Intelligence has completed its analysis of the data you recovered in the Nopata system. There is a 67.47% chance that the Iconians are using the Tal Shiar as a way to influence the Romulan Star Empire and that their persecution of the Remans is directly related to this. Command is considering lending assistance to Obasek and his forces. But before we come into direct conflict with the Romulans, we want to try a more discreet approach. 
The data indicates that Hakiv is operating out of the Brea system. Long-range sensor scans indicate that there may be a major Talshar installation there. We want you to infiltrate this system, apprehend Hakiv, and destroy the Talshar's base. Hakiv must not escape. He may be the only person who knows how extensive the Iconian influence in Romulan space is. Look forward to it. But that is an animation for next for next time for the next episode. And on that and on that note, that is the end of this episode. Um I have that. New missions Fuck off. Um So I'm glad that I'm glad that there's now two episodes of episode There's now two under the umpteenth number of episodes that I hate down. What I gotta do now is just not lose the lose any any of the video files from this video. And on that note, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, Sergeant Beckett, if you'd like. In the description of this video, there's a link to my link tree. In that link tree, there are links to other places such as other social medias and a few Discord servers and a website. Thank you all again for watching. See you all in the next video. Adios.